Greetings from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. My name is Todd Barber, lead propulsion engineer on the Cassini mission to Saturn, here with your latest news from the ringed planet. Since our last update, Cassini imaged the loftiest mountains ever seen on Saturn's largest moon, Titan. These mountains are more than a mile high and they're covered with organic material that apparently precipitated out of the Titan atmosphere. In addition, the mountains are flanked by clouds, as we can see in this infrared snapshot. Other vistas on Titan that should be familiar to Earthlings include a potential volcanic flow deposit, as well as Titan sand dunes. Titan sand, however, is apparently made of organic molecules, very unlike the sands of planet Earth. We have radar images from our most recent Titan flyby, and they're soon to be released. We can't wait to see what that Titan surface looks like. All of these Titan flybys are cranking up the orbit of Cassini to a more polar orbit of Saturn. This allows us to image the rings more like a disk, as you can see in this recent stunning image. Next up for Cassini is yet another Titan flyby. On December 28, 2006, our radio science team will measure Titan's gravity field, looking for a possible subsurface liquid water and ammonia ocean. In addition, our infrared cameras will look at the Titan stratosphere, measuring chemical composition and thermal profiles. Cassini closes out 2006 with a wonderful article in National Geographic magazine and a beautiful picture of Saturn on the cover of the December issue. Exactly 25 years ago, a Voyager picture of Saturn graced the cover of National Geographic, inspiring this Kansas teenager to follow his dreams to Southern California and into the cosmos. Wishing you happy holidays from Pasadena, California and Saturn, this is Todd Barber from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory.